For thousands of years before recorded history, this vast high mountain valley was recognized as sacred. What is the power of this place? Besides all the gold that's in the mountain that emanates energy, underneath this place is the largest single aquifer. I mean, this is an ocean. Underneath this place, resting on crystal rock. Before the pioneers came from the east, the San Luis Valley was a colony of Spain. The Spanish called the mountains here Sangre de Cristo, Blood of Christ. The, the civilization that's here now is uh, very abusive, not only to each other, but to Mother Nature. And, uh, you know, probably 80, 90 percent of humanity were on a very low level of consciousness. And our job was to bring up the level of consciousness, the mystical traditions, the cultures of the world would gather here. This is a place of creation, of beginnings, origins, and emergence. This is a place where herds of elk, deer, and buffalo still roam freely, where the bluebird's gentle murmur announces the return of spring. Here, mountain lions still rule the high forests and canyons, and the eagle is lord of the sky. Where the air and water are still pure, the nights utterly black with a billion stars overhead. Bottom line. It's about bringing, lifting up the human consciousness, the human spirit. And this, or the tree, you know, the music is what connects you to the divine. Beautiful art brings up to a very high level your consciousness. And um, so it's very simple. If this planet is going to make it, it's going to be a new civilization of people that are going to be so much more evolved than people are now. This is a place to explore your life as a citizen of the world, to feel your connection to those who came before, those who have yet to come, to explore oneness with the world of art and man, with plants and animals, with the stars and the earth, oneness with all life.